Welcome back on the water, everybody. Today's episode is kind of cool because, well, here I'm in pretty shallow water. We go offshore, we find some really sick uh, snapper and grouper on these tanks. But here I just kind of see a grouper over there. It spooks in the grass and I miss. I thought it was cool to sew a grouper in super shallow water like this. I'll head offshore and see those fish. On this first dive offshore, you can immediately notice it's pretty clear. Um, bottom is visible within 20 feet. There's goliaths pretty much all over the spot. And I kind of get down and I don't really see many fish in my landing area. So I like kind of keep going along, see if I can see more or find a spot that I want to settle in. But uh, this dive, I just don't really see anything productive. So I head back up early. This next dive, Matt has shot a grouper and is yelling at me for backup. There's already goliaths everywhere, and I'm really glad that I have my small snapper gun that I normally use for backup shots. I kind of look in the pipe, can't really see the fish, I kind of tug, and I realize that it's just, it's just not on the shaft anymore. And so, unfortunately, we don't get that particular fish. This next dive is just a slightly deeper, like five foot deeper spot. And I kind of head down, straight to the bottom again, and I'm just kind of looking around for any fish that I might shoot. Um, I almost shoot this porgy that comes up in front of me, but I don't because I see a snapper over further. And so I kind of just crawl along along these pipes. And I see it, it spooks down, I check out another snapper. And then he crawls back up out of the pipe and I lay low, he gives me the broadside and I shoot him. And now I'm just tearing this fish up because as you can see the goliaths are coming right from the bottom to try to get my fish uh, but they don't get it and I get a snapper in the box. This next dive is pretty cool. I've grabbed a dive light because uh, Mount's been seeing more grouper from that first one that he shot inside the pipes so I head down to this spot with some pretty big pipes and I start you know checking pipes and looking in and as soon as we get down these goliaths start hanging out around us you know hoping we shoot something they can pull off the spear as soon as I turn around I see these two nice snapper and I'm gonna shoot one but I just kind of wait for them to line up and I get a nice two for one both of these snapper are on my spear and so I start swimming up, trying to pull them up, and I get to the surface, and they're both on the spear. But when I look down and check it, I feel a really strong tug, and you can see that Goliath just came and obliterated this snapper. And he got the bottom one. But we still got one, which is nice. So after checking the pipes, we go to these tanks that are kind of hard to find. But once you find them, they've got tons of fish on the insides of them. So I head straight to the top of the tank, shine a light in, and there's just snapper everywhere. And I'm kind of too busy looking, and I let them all swim into little holes. And I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta shoot one. So I find one to try to shoot. There's literally so many in here. I find one to try to shoot. And I wait for him to come back out, and I just completely whiff, which sucks. But it was really cool to see all of them inside of it. And I just come back to surface, and I literally just wait and let it reload, and they'll be back in there once I get my shaft out. Now, I have a shorter gun that's less powerful that I literally like made to use at these tanks. But uh, the roller is what I'm holding right now. I waited for the tank to reload, and I came back to it and I'm just ready to rocket a shaft and dull it into this like metal tank. See a fish, line up on it, kapow. I shoot it in the fillet which kind of sucks but the name of the game with these tanks is to just get the fish out of that hole before it can get itself stuck on the inside because you can't get all the way back inside the tank. But I got him. Good fish. Yummy fish. So there's a bunch of these tanks out here and so we go to a different one instead of waiting for the one to reload again. And this one doesn't have as many snapper on it, but they're much bigger. So I pull up to this hole, knock an urchin in, and I see a really nice one. And I shoot, but he's on the shaft, but I pull too hard trying to get him out, and it just pulls out, which really sucks. But that's 
what you gotta do, you gotta try to force them out of the tank. So on this dive, um, it's on a different tank, and I finally go down with the little wooden gun that's designed for working around inside the tank. It's nice and short, so I could really get into the holes that I'm trying to look for, like this tiny little hole here. I can actually shoot it with this wooden gun. I don't really see anything except that little black margate down there, so I head to the front of the tank. And as I'm doing that, I see this really big goliath, which is kind of cool. And I start grunting to see if I can call any snapper out from inside the tank towards the front, and then this little guy peeks his head. I take a shot, and I pull him out. A goliath isn't really a big issue here because I'm able to pull him out and grab the shaft in an area that the goliath can't access. I almost hit my head on the turret right there. And I get back up, another fish for the table. So we move off the tanks, and this time we're actually diving on a shipwreck. It's pretty dilapidated, um, and there are some reef balls around it, but this is actually the remains of a ship. So I land kind of on the top deck of the ship, uh, looking around for some grouper under some stuff, and I see a pretty decent snapper kind of swimming along. I don't swim towards it immediately, but I kind of set my sights on it, pull the trigger. He, I get him and he swims back into the into the pipe and I start trying to pull him out and it's clear he swam real far back in there and I'm never able to get this fish out. I try diving for it like, you know, for like 30 minutes and I can't get it so I cut the shooting line unfortunate. So this last dive is a pretty good lesson in why staying calm, not rushing your shot, all good things to do on the bottom. I get to the bottom and I start looking around, looking to see if I can see grouper or snapper or whatever. And I see some snapper and they go into a pipe. So I just kind of move towards other snapper because I'm being picky. I see some nice snapper and I can't pick one. They get in a school. School starts swimming away. I just kind of fire into the middle of it, completely whiff. Um, don't rush your shots, people. Pick a fish and shoot it, and don't get greedy. Good day fishing. <laughs> See you, Emmy. Have a good one. Got a bunch of mangoes. Are they the back? Yeah, they are. Boom, boom, boom. Got a bunch of mangoes. Put them in the bags. But, looking good. All right. Bye-bye.